Welcome to this brief series of videos on the statistical package R. I'm John Lee, a tutor from ACTED, the actuarial education company, and in this brief video I'll be showing you how to install R on your computer. There are many sites you can download R from. I'm going to download it from the following site www.stats.bris.ac.uk forward slash R. That will bring you to this page. I'm on a laptop and it runs Windows, so I'm going to download R for Windows, which is the third option. Clicking on that gives you this page. Now, if this is the first time you're downloading R, you want to click on either Base or on Install R for the first time, either of which will take you to this page. And here we see we can download R and the version when this video is made is 3.3.0. So we're going to click on that. It brings up this dialog box and we will click on Save File. You can see that the file is downloading. Once it's downloaded, you need to locate the file and run it. I'm in Firefox, so I simply click here and click on the file. Click on Run to obviously run the file. I speak English, so yes, OK. Click on Next. Now, unfortunately, on my laptop, I don't have administrative privileges, uh, which is a little bit frustrating, but we can still work with it. It'll just be saved in my documents. So click on Next. Read the agreement. What do you mean you don't read the agreement? Click on Next if you're happy with that, and then choose the appropriate folder you wish to save it in. I've saved it in my documents in the R folder, and then click Next. There's a variety of choices here, assuming your laptop's a little bit old, then you'll want to go for the 32-bit. If it's a bit more fancy and flashy, you could go for the 64-bit. Click on Next. There's no point doing a customized startup if you have no idea what you're doing. So I'm just going to go for defaults and click Next. And it's going to create a shortcut, which is called R. It seems an appropriate shortcut for a program called R. Click on Next and then Next again. And off it goes and installs your program. Well, that was quick, you said. Well, I did speed up the video. We're all finished, so we just click on Finish to exit our setup. We've now installed R. In my case, I've saved it in my documents in the R folder. 